Frank likes bear. Frank likes t bear. <sighs> Welcome to Sullen Day, an indie horror game I found on Game Jolt. I'll explain the story at the very least. Sullen Day is a short, atmospheric story game with elements of horror and mysticism. The action game takes place in 1987, where the player has to move through several different events and understand what happened, not immediately understandable story, the idea of which is revealed gradually as it passes only as it passes only to increase the gloomy atmosphere of the game. Man, that's, that feels like spoiler territory. Don't tell me it gradually gets worse. I mean, worse in, you know, a good way, not a... Not a critique negative way. But anyways, sounded interesting. It sounded interesting, so we're gonna get into it. My left eye seems very blurry and shitty today, so... I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm tired. Every morning I ask myself why this happened to me. Frank, we need to discuss about it. We should divide this money and be quiet until everything is end. It is over? Why? I don't want to hide. Listen, you very well know what is money. They may come for them. Damn. Be calm. Do you even know how much is here? We're up in a bank? Of course not. We will divide them equally. I'm sure this is enough to forget everything. Forget what we did. It's hard to believe. I believe that this day will change our lives. This is the best day. Everything's gonna turn to shit, man. Come on. It's weird, like, when I move my mouse slightly, the pixelation gets smoother, but if I, if I don't move at all, it's more pixelated. You know, like, it's, it's weird. I might be driving through a shitty dark alley, man. Shotgun? I've been looking at it for a while, now I'm like, hmm, shotgun. I need this money, and you know for what. Yeah, I know. One day the cops will catch me, but now I want to end this. You are no right. No, I just want a better life. Is that a crime? Well, you're going to commit a crime to get a better life. I don't care about it. You just don't understand. Ah, yes. It's totally not a weak man's fucking, uh... Uh, statement, when I, while I survive, you imprison people like me. What? This is my job. Am I a security guard or police officer? This is the last time I asked you for something. I mean, it's just not how you ask for favors. That's how I tell a lot of people. You don't ask for a favor while being bitchy. Like, soon someone offers a f like, well, ask for a favor, and I'm like, yeah, sure, fine. It, it, just give me an inch of bitchiness, and I'll fucking be gone. Remember those times? You bought my favorite beer, and we sat into the morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not sure then what the game is about. It was hinting the dialogue of what was going on. So it's like, I worked for security, or I, I was responsible for locking people up. I'm not sure how or what. Wait, would that say read with the two E's? I called you, but you didn't answer as usual. I need you to help me. It's not difficult. I'll do everything myself. I really need money, I know. That sounds weird, but it's serious. I'll tell you everything later, Frank. Need <laughs> to read with two E's. Alright. Frank likes bear. Frank likes t bear.
Interesting typos. He likes bears. Can I not grab that? Okay. Mm. Well, will you help me? This evening as usual, I'll be at the bar where we went out uh, went on weekends. He went with everything. He he went when everything was different. I understand if you won't come, but if you agree, you know where to look for me, Frank. I need a key, I guess, for that. Hmm. You okay, buddy? Are you getting beaten up by these chairs? These chairs have done a number on this guy, I think. Like, interrogating this one dude with four intimidating chairs. I think I need to put him out of his misery so the chairs don't abuse him anymore. It's okay. I mean, I mean they're stools. They're part of the chair family, but uh, it, it's clear they've been interrogating and torturing this guy. Um... The chairs now became extremely excited when I shot him. They danced with joy as I shot him in the back of the head, Hillary Clinton style. I miss. This is the only explanation for my craving for the past. Oh, what is this blurriness? Hell? I'm moving. I'm in hell? What? Just because they shot someone and ended someone's life? Because they're being tortured by stools and chairs? What? Definitely get the... Well, thanks for pointing me in the direction I need to go. The linear direction. That's you know, the only direction I can go, but thank you for pointing anyways. Ah, uh, What am I doing? I'm getting in the car? I... I don't know. We just need to walk forward into the darkness, maybe? No? Here it is. Frank likes to bear. I don't even know what he grabbed. And there's that note on the back I didn't even read. Thanks. Like, just in case I get lost. I wouldn't want to get lost in this maze. Thanks. Thanks again. I'm getting a, the heavy narrative vibes. I just had to see if I'll be understanding the story. Tomorrow night, we'll drive to the motel on Pike Creek. We need to find a guest under the name Marcus. It is he who is our goal. 
It is obvious that everything will not go as planned. Someone will definitely call the police. I'll ask you to take advantage of your position in the police department and postpone the investigation in this case. He will divide the we will divide the money and be lost. Read the note. Oh, I can also look in the trunk. You know, and it's profitable. It's profitable to sell death. That's why I chose him. I will be right if I take them from him, and then I can help her. I think it'll not be easy, but I will have to, even if you refuse. I have only one chance to change everything. I don't know. Usually only an alarm clock rings, but then the phone rings. From that moment on, I forgot when I smiled. You know, that day when they called me from the hospital and said what happened to her, I was not upset. I realized that this is a challenge. A challenge for me. I thought... It's just me or my... just seeing something in my peripheral vision. Well, as long as it's not a spider on my desk. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um, I thought I would help her, but I did not know how. This feeling filled me with strange confidence. It seemed to me that this was not real. <coughs> God damn. wonder if I'll figure out why Frank likes bears. You should not blame me for having to become one. When Mary died, I was left alone with Julie. She was growing a good, obedient child, but at one point, you know, this damn cell from the hospital, this drunk man driving, if I could get it. What? I have no idea. I can barely see shit. But everything cannot be perfect, right? When I was fired from work, I almost gave up, begun to get drunk, turned into an animal. But now, I have changed. Julie is my point of living. When Mary left, I made a promise to take care of Julie, to do everything that she was... To do everything that she was well? I guess to do everything to make sure she's well? Frank. Remember the first time you pulled me out of jail? I didn't doubt that you would help me. Because how can a brother leave his brother in trouble, right? He didn't need to say brother twice, I'm sure. But one day I'll humbly wait for the end. What? That, that was it? I wouldn't really call that a horror game. I think that's maybe a bit of an exaggeration of the store page. Short atmospheric story game? Yes. They say with elements of horror and mysticism. I don't know if I would really say horror. 
like it has doors that randomly close that don't make sense unless you <coughs> put it in the aspect of the horror genre but it's just so mild and tame uh, I think calling it a horror would be a bit of a stretch just because it's a dark atmosphere um, I don't really understand what happened besides your brother is Frank his wife died he became an alcoholic and he wants to rob a bank or rob a store and his brother's a cop who you play as and he's hoping you're able to delay an investigation and just hide the money and then split it later like it's that one fucking movie what was it I'm gonna have to find that movie name uh, yeah, Escape from Alcatraz if I remember that movie properly I think, was it Escape from Alcatraz? Alcatraz? Where they had like a, a stash of money? Was it, no, wait, it wasn't Alcatraz. Oh, no, no, Shawshank Redemption, that's it. That's it, okay. Um, made me think of the Shawshank Redemption, where there was like a... A lot of money. I, I swear Shawshank was the one where at the end, like, the guy who escapes goes and gets money that's hidden ah oh, man but it's like I'm confusing possibly two different movies together but either way people possibly know what I'm talking about but it's what reminded me of it otherwise sure yes but I feel like there could have been maybe more impact I'm not sure maybe I'll just go with what other people say the game was a dollar on game jolt maybe people could say not worth but I'm not not complaining to request some kind of refund or anything but um it was on sale basically $1.45 or $1.98 uh, USD technically uh but I don't know just I didn't really I couldn't I can't say like the story really connected with me it's just sort of you know telling your story in notes you don't really see anything happen it's just this event happened off screen uh We'll split the money, and you're putting the notes together to try to connect the pieces, but... So it's like, of all the story and lore of whatever happened to these two characters, of Frank and who you play as, we get the most boring role to play, which is after the fact? After people die? After the robbery? And we don't get to see it? We just... We pick up notes to tell a, a hypothetical story that the developer says it happened, but we don't get to see it, I think is maybe a bit weak in terms of storytelling. It's not exciting, it's not enticing, because we don't see any of it. It's like... Mm, it's, like it's like, if I were to make a game in comparison, let's say you buy Final Fantasy VII Remake, but you're not one of the main characters, you're just like, like some NPC that watches the... You, you don't even get to watch the fights happen, you just know, hey, Cloud and avalanche exist and they're fighting evil people and Shenra's bad but most of the game in Final Fantasy 7 Remake is actually you an NPC who sells apples at a vendor and uh, you don't even get to see any of the main cast and most of the time you're just falling asleep and waking up and uh, reading the events of what happened with avalanche and cloud and, and you know maybe, maybe Sephiroth and maybe Shinra in the newspaper uh, but you don't get to see anything that'd be boring so as a narrative story you can only maybe piece it together as something of artistic value rather than uh, gaming value at least that's how I would put it together but tell me what your thoughts are or and just just tell me your thoughts in the comments below how you felt or if you agree if you disagree tell me in the comments below but if you enjoyed please leave a like comment hit that subscribe button become a subscriber hit the notification down below for this my videos thank you for watching and until the next time um.